Hello everyone. Today's video is starting on a bit of a sad note. It gives me a melancholic mood when I talk about these two beautiful awesome creatures. Why? Because these guys have been hunted to extinction. Some want to give it fast names, like Habitat Loss, Widespread Wars. But to me, we are the cause of these animals to be extinct. It's not a good thing. Because there are only two remaining in the world. I'm talking about Fatu and Najee. The last two remaining North and White Lions. Formerly found in several countries in eastern central Africa, south of the Sahara, these grazers are one of the two subspecies of white rhinos. Also going by the name of Northern Square Leaf Rhinoceros, these awesome creatures can reach a body length of about 4 meters and a weight of 2 tons in maturity. They are characterized by having a tough rough skin which has a thickness of about 1.5 to 5 centimeters. These gentle giants have a mid-level temperament and can be very aggressive when provoked. With running speeds of about 50 km per hour, definitely they are a force not to be reckoned with. While living in the world, the white rhinos have a life expectancy of 50 years. But do we let them live for that long? It gives me mixed reactions. Both pride and sorrow to know only the last two female not white rhinos are here in my motherland and home country, Kenya. Najin and Fatu are who we are talking about today. I'm your host, Steve Welcome to Steve Dog World. Meet the late Sudan, the father to Najin and grandfather to Fatu. Today we commemorate his four year anniversary since he died on the 19th of March 2018. Due to a recurring infection on his right hind leg, which he couldn't sustain as a result of old age, he sadly had to be put down to ease his suffering. On that note, let's not forget to give him a minute of silence today, cause his scientific contribution will definitely play a vital role in reversing the extinction of the Northern White Rhino. Wow, look at how beautiful Mother Nature is. It's always a nice relaxing feeling to be in a place like this. But as human beings, are we doing our best to take care of our world? Are we doing our best to take care of our natural resources? Are we doing our best to take care of our animals? Hold that thought. I guess at this juncture, I have definitely earned your subscription. So guys, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be part of Tinel Conservation Gang. And for my returning subscribers, it's a big salute and thanks for your support. I know most of you guys are wondering, these are northern white rhinos, mostly originating in the northern part of Africa. How do they find their way in Kenya? How do they find a way to the old Pejeta Conservancy? Well, it all started in the late 70s when it was discovered that most of the population in Northern Whites has drastically reduced to a number of only 15 rhinos to be precise. And only these 15 rhinos were walking in the wild in the DLC Congo. According to the International Union of Conservation in Nature, this was a disaster and the Northern Whites were declared an endangered species. So hence, something had to be done. All this was happening because of illegal poaching, widespread wars, and uh, the poaching was mostly to satisfy the ivory trade market. Hence, most of the animals were hunted to extinction. Luckily, apart from having the 15 rhinos running in the world, there were different zoos in different parts of the world having these rhinos in captivity. The number of rhinos in captivity was 16. Just to name but a few of the zoos are the famous Devu Kralouf Zoo in the Czech Republic and it had 9 rhinos. 
The Khartoum Zoo in Sudan had one rhino. The San Diego Zoo in the US had one rhino. And other zoo facilities had about five rhinos. Though very alarming, this brought the whole population of rhinos to be 31 rhinos in the whole world. A lot of conservation effort was done to increase the northern whites population. But sadly, by 2007, the whole lot in the world had gone to extinct and only eight remained in captivity. This included six northern whites in the Devu Kralov Zoo in the Czech Republic and two northern whites in the San Diego Zoo in the US. At this moment, a breeding program had already been started and samples were already being collected and stored in various labs which would be later used for breeding through in vitro fertilization, commonly known as IVF. While at the Tivu Kralov Zoo, Sudan was caught in the world in 1975. In 1980, Sunni, a male was born. In 1989, Najin was born from Sudan the father and Nasima the mother. And in 2000, Fat was born by Najin and the father was Saud. As you all know, most wild animals when are in captivity as opposed to their natural habitat, they don't live for long. So in 20 December 2009, these four beautiful creatures, Najin and Fatu, both females, Sudan and Sunni, both males, were airlifted to all Pajeta Conservancy in Kenya so that they can enjoy a natural habitat and breed naturally. Being at the brink of extinction, when these animals reached the old Pajeta Conservancy, they were put under 24 hours armed guard surveillance and radio transmitters were installed in their homes to ensure close monitoring of their whereabouts. They were definitely late to acclimatize with their new habitat but under close surveillance by staff and specialists. Luckily, on the 25th April 2012 and May 2012, Sunni and Najib made it. You know, the rhinos have a gestation period of 16 to 18 months and Najib's pregnancy was closely monitored, weekly to be precise. But unfortunately, the conservancy in January 2014 considered Najib not to be pregnant and research stock tests done by specialists from the Czech Republic concluded that Naji could have been pregnant but she miscarried shortly after, hence degenerating her uterine lining. This is the main cause as to why Naji can't carry pregnancy till to date. On the 17th October 2014, Willow Sunni, due to natural causes, dying at a young tender age of 34 years. Luckily before his death, a lot of sperm cells have been collected from him and taken to a genetic bank both in Berlin and San Diego for safety storage on liquid nitrogen so that they can be used later for IVF. By 2015, it was officially declared that the two females weren't capable of natural reproduction because one had a degenerated uterine lining and one had weaker hind legs. So scientists from Leibniz Institute of Zoo and Wildlife Research, San Diego Zoo Global, Tiergarten Schoenbrunn, the Vukralov Zoo, KWS and the Old Pejeta Conservancy decided to take charge and assist in the production of this functionally extinct subspecies. After losing Sudan on the 19th March 2018, in August 2019, scientists collected 10 eggs from both Fatu and Naji. By September 2019, scientists had announced that through IVF, they had managed to use frozen sperm cells from dead males and two of the resulting embryos were viable. In January 2020, Another embryo was created using the same technique, making a total of three embryos from Fatu. Citing ethical issues, Najin was pulled out of the breeding program, and in December 2020, 14 egg cells were retrieved from Fatu. Eight egg cells retrieved from Fatu 
will fertilize the sperm cells from the deceased northern white rhino soon, hence resulting in two viable embryos. As of February 2022, there was a total of 14 northern white rhinos embryos created, having 11 eggs from Fatu, inseminated by sperm cells from Sunni, and 3 egg cells inseminated by sperm from Angalifu. So, these embryos will be imparted to surrogate mothers. Where do you think the surrogate mothers will come from? They'll come from their immediate cousins, the southern white rhinos, who will carry these embryos for 16 to 18 months and give us a pure breed of a northern white rhino calf. To tell you the truth guys, I'm crossing my fingers and being optimistic that all this works out and this partial functional extinction will come to an end and soon we'll have a quite a number of a good population of the northern white rhinos running around in this world. I know most of you have been listening to me and looking at the video and wondering which place is this? Don't worry and ask no more. This is the beautiful Lake Nakuru National Park. Why did I bring you guys here? Because this is a sanctuary for the southern white rhinos. So I brought you here, which is on the opposite side of Kenya. Directly opposite actually from all Pajita Conservancy. This is where we have the southern white rhinos. And the southern white rhinos are the hope for the northern white. Nice, within no time, there they are, the beautiful, epic southern white rhinos. Though a bit different in terms of physical appearance, but these are the closest cousins to the northern white rhinos. Hence, they'll make the perfect surrogate mothers to carry the embryos to help eliminate the extinction of the northern white rhinos. At this moment, I feel obligated to commend and thank these people for a good job well done to eliminate the extinction of the Northern White Rhinos. These people are actually our heroes. These people and institutions include the Devukralov Zoo in the Czech Republic, the CEO of All Pejeta Conservancy, Mr. Richard Vine, the management and staff of All Pejeta Conservancy for taking good care of Fatwa Naji. Dr. Delare and his team of scientists, Dr. Hildebrand, Dr. Hildebrand and his team of scientists from the Leibniz Institute, Dr. Durand from the San Diego Frozen Zoo, and anybody, any wildlife conservationist workers who has made a contribution to the conservation of the northern white rhinos, for me is a big thank you and I commend you for your job. God bless you always and God bless the work of your hands. For me, as a fellow wildlife conservationist, I'll keep on vlogging about these beautiful northern creatures. I'll keep on vlogging to people to stop poaching in their countries. I'll keep on vlogging to tell people to stop the ivory trade because this is what is killing our animals. And we all make an effort and come one to sing this campaign. I'm sure our future generations are going to see and enjoy the Northern White Rhinos. For me, it's a big thank you and thank you for watching this video and supporting Steiner Dog World. Finally guys, we've come to an end of this video. If you really liked and enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Like it, comment, share it with your friends. In fact guys, let's make it better. Let's make this video trend. Let's give it about 1,000 likes and I promise you, I'll take you to go and see Fatu and Niger. Because from Stinel Dogon, 
it's adios.